اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بل نقض و بالحق علی الباطل فید مغه فاذا هو ظاهق ولکم الویل مما تصفون صدق اللہ العظیم رب اشرح لي صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسان یفقہ قولی Respected viewers and listeners, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A'udhu bi kalimati Allahi tammah min kulli shaytani wa hamma wa min kulli ayni lamma. A'udhu bi kalimati Allahi tammati min sharri ma khalaq. Rabbi a'udhu bika min hamazati shayatini wa a'udhu bika rabbi an yahduroon. Fallahu khayrun hafidhan wa huwa arhamun rahimin. Ameen ya rabbal alameen. وقل الحمد لله الذي لم يتخذ ولدا ولم يكن له شريك في الملك ولم يكن له ولي من الذل وكبره تكبيرا The ayah which I have read is from Surah Al-Anbiya chapter 21 verse number 18 Allah says بل نقذف بالحق على الباطل Whenever the truth is heard against the falsehood, فَيَدْ مَغُهُ فَإِذَا هُوَ زَاهِقْ وَلَكَمُ الْوَيْلُ مِمَّا تَصِفُونَ It knocks out its brain. And falsehood has to be perished not at any cost. Today the topic is how Mirza Ghulam Ahmad cursed me upon him he fooled his own people. Rather, I call it this oscillation of sickness. He put his people into the crossroads where you do not know where to go. What is your culminating point? Where is your final destination? Let me repeat. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, curse be upon him, is the person or was the person who tantalized in such a way that he put his people into the crossroads. While they are in the crossroads, they are keep oscillation or oscillating, meaning going back and forth, back and forth. And... <clears throat> leading towards the crossroads. Let me elaborate to my viewers what my point is. You see, crossroads is a position or a place where there is no way to go. You are stuck into ambivalence, confusion, or cognitive dissonance. And oscillation is the process we study in science about the waves, how they, you know, go up and down their amplitude. You see, waves have these wavelength of a wave as well as the amplitude, the frequency, the trough, which is the lowest point of the wave, and crest, the highest point. But what is the point there? Wave is keep oscillating back and forth, back and forth. And it goes to where the position or the place where it starts. And crossroads. This is what exactly the story of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad and Qadiani is on and on. Any Murabbi, any Qadiani, any woman from the Lajna community, all what they learn is the pocketbook arguments. Bogus apologetics, false, lies, deception, deceit, deceitful manners, and no sense at all, oscillating to the continuous process of crossroads. They will start the discussion and they do not know where to go. Why? Because Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, the way he postulated his theories, made him to make several U-turns. Whenever he say, proclaimed something, that for example, I am Isa ibn Maryam, who was supposed to be coming, 
or who's supposed to come. I'm in his place and Isa ibn Maryam is no more. He's dead. So once he claimed this thing and suddenly then he has realized that if he's dead, then how he can be Isa ibn Maryam? You see, crossroads. Now when we ask these questions to Qadianis, they have no answers. So what they do? You turn. Oh, it doesn't mean that. Okay, another, another, another. Let's have another innings. Another innings, another excuse. Excuse after excuse after excuse. And finally, you reach the point where there is no place to go crossroads. Oscillating is the process of every Qadiani Mirzai onwards or so and so. Every. Name them. The small one or the big one. All they have simultaneously the same arguments because they have one pocketbook. And pocketbook is all just continuous, perpetual arguments they keep posting to the people. So, how did he fool? That's the point. He fooled his own people. The biggest blunder in the history of humanity where a man is claiming to be a woman and claiming that he has menstruation, menses like a woman has. This is the biggest blunder in the humanity of in the in the history of humanity you will never find this lewd kind of story in any documents in the past and can you believe it the most preposterous the proposition is laid by someone or said by someone proposed by someone superstitious and the most credulous people will believe Keep exaggerating. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed said that I am Maryam, a woman. God changed me and then I got menses and I got impregnated by my own self and I delivered the own baby, this is Jesus Christ, and this is me, myself. Can you believe the sickness? A lunatic cannot speak like that. This is beyond lunacy. Highest order of lunacy. And this guy did it. He did it. He fooled the people with these kind of arguments that I was Maryam. How come? How come? You know, we have a saying, if you want to make a lie, make a lie with the wisdom. How stupid, lewd, ignorant statement is that you are saying that I became a woman to fit yourself in the situation of Jesus Christ and I impregnated by myself or somehow mystical way and then after that I myself become Jesus after the three you know, gestation periods and finally here the Mashiach comes. Can you believe it? With this all muck, absurdity, propensity Mirza Ghulam Muhammad proclaimed and his followers nod their heads. They said, yes, it's true. He became Maryam. Watch those lunatics. These lunatics, these, uh, their Khalifa lineage and the lines of their Khalafat or Khalifa. These look, watch their videos. How, you know, deceitful, how clever or sheepishly they are dealing with the people. Droves after droves, hoard after hoard. They need money. Donations. Chanda. For what? For what you need to tell to people that our founder was, was a woman or he became a woman and impregnated himself. For these things you are telling people to give you money. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, I'm telling to my Western people, all the other religious religions, he blasphemed every hero of the previous religion. The heroes or the idols you have. Remember that. He blasphemed against the Hindus, gods and goddesses. He blasphemed on Jesus of Nazareth. Two billion Christian dumb. He put them into gutter. If you know and access his books. 
poor people, the Western people, those wasps, white Anglo-Saxon Protestants supporting these people, they don't know. They don't know that their true faces, what they think about you, love for all and hatred for none. This slogan is the most deceitful, uh, deceitful or the most, you know, uh, what you call an ambiguous, sorry, ambiguous statement of theirs. Lies. They only love the people who give them money. That's it. There's no love for you. Then, he's telling to the people that I am Jesus Christ, the promised Messiah. Even by knowing that this guy is from India. This guy is from India and he's telling that I am promised Messiah, which is mentioned in the Bible. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? This guy, who is not a Jew, he belongs to those, you know, Indians culture and Indian lineage, ancestry. And he's telling to the people, he got rid of that. He got rid of it. How come? Then he's telling to everyone, those who are my enemies or those who do not believe in me, they are all the son of bitches. Can you take that? Is that how Mashiach speaks? That you all people are the son of bitches. And when you ask Qadianis, they're not there. No, he's the promised Mashiach. He's the promised Mashiach. What, what is he doing? Oh, no, no. Actually, he came to destroy the cross. Which cross they destroyed? He came to bring peace. What peace came? World War I happened. World War II happened. After this, this guy came, people are getting killed more, more than when, more than since or since when he proclaimed to be the Messiah. Inverted commas. People are getting killed. A God killed. World War I, World War II. So what's the point? He blasphemed our Nabi. Nabi Akrim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He used those words in a very diplomatic way to degrade our Nabi, caricature. Exactly the worst, the French, how they're doing it. About our against speaking against our Nabi Apak Sallallahu Same this guy did it. He blasphemed Ambi Alayhi Salatu Salam. He blasphemed Jesus Christ. He blasphemed the God and goddesses of Hindus. He blasphemed the Jews, of course, Judaism. He blasphemed everyone. He didn't even spare the disciples of Prophet Muhammad, the Sahaba. He said that he is way afzal, superior than Ali. Astaghfirullah. He said that my words are Quran. You bastard. How dare. How dare you speak against my Nabi. You are telling that you, this the Quran is your words? What are you? You are nothing. You are nothing. You are living under the umbrella of the Western people. Those wasps who are just like you. Worldly people. And you are all protected under Kuffar. And you are claiming to be Mashiach. What type of Mashiach is this? A Mashiach is that? Who needs the shelter and protection from disbelievers? You know, this is a fact. And a disappointing situation for Muslims all around the world that we do not have one system. Socio-political economic system. You call it Khilafa or Caliphate or whatever. Vice Gerency, we don't have it. Had it been for the Muslims to have any kind of system as a collective power, these people wouldn't have been existing. You know that. 
these people won't be there i dare these people go afghanistan and say something at the time of mirza ghulam ahmed he just sent some letters <laughs> just pretending like a wanna be of prophet and he sent some letters so the ruler that time he said that come here and tell us on our faces come here and tell us then we will <laughs> we will butcher you and then we'll send you with your you know cut it pieces back to where you came from lies after lies he lied on prophet sallam he created many ahadith where you never find in any book ever written by muhaddisin he quoted many hadith which is totally a lie fabrication against prophet muhammad sallam and qadiani says it's okay he interpolated or prostituted the kalima of prophet sallam our kalima of islam whenever these qadianis then say muhammad they do not take muhammad of arabia they they think muhammad of this ahmad of qadian this curse curse be upon him that guy they take him you see i am discussing here with you a logical reasons i'm not quoting you the scriptures here i can but think for a moment a guy who said that i am a woman and i became a sia can you stomach that can you buy this what is wrong with you people these their brains he is not an arab he made himself maryam then he fooled you people and he saying that jesus christ is dead so once a person is dead how come he is coming back again so for this he sugar coated the matter and he said that no 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 it is me who came but okay but if you came then you told us that jesus is dead then how you came because it is ordained for everyone to die once then resurrection so how come he came back again another lie see oscillation i told you coming back and forth and reach where crossroads no direction nothing stuck over there and then fumble tremble just yes, that's it hazur 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 ab kya karna hai hazur ab kya karna hai hazur ab kya karna hai euphoria ecstasy but the grounds of logic nothing this guy that cockroach who is living in uk or whatever in germany this mirza masrur come forward and debate the people you rascal you don't even know how to read quran you don't even know the basic tenets of islam and you are said that our nabi is not the last prophet your mirza swine is the last prophet you are telling us you are telling 1.8 billion muslims you are playing with our emotions you think that we going to you know give you a flexible tongue no i dare all these murabbis i tell i said it before that come if you are emasculated and castrated bring your women folk come and debate debate on the merits of your fundamental prove that mirza ghulam ahmed was the messiah from the quran and hadith your game is up all those side tracks that the business of christians the day they do it exactly you are copying it machar chanti jao samoche oont nikli jao swallow the whole camel and you know stare at the gnat provide your evidence that's it you said mirza ghulam ahmed is a true mashia show us where is he mentioned in the quran and where is he mentioned in the hadith show us the word don't assume don't presume don't say that ought to be meant supposed to be in as much so talk straight did he mention or not is he name mention or not if he's not mention close the chapter and get lost from our site that's it i don't got mirza ghulam ahmed sahab i see many muslims when they are discussing they said oh we said sahab we don't say sahab but sahab you know just to try to make a curry favor in a discussion don't don't talk don't say sahab don't say sahab 
Imagine if Abu Bakr as Siddiq is alive or was alive today. Imagine how many disciples of Prophet they shed their blood. Why? Muslim Akadzab. To stop this philosophy. When Prophet said, Ana Ahmad, Ana Muhammad, La Nabiya Ba'di, there is no Prophet who is coming after me. Then how dare anyone can say that I am Prophet when he said, Umar. If there was a slight chance of a prophethood to be continuing, it would be you, Umar. But I am Khatam al nabiyin I am the seal of the prophets. When the seal is given on a document, it means the document is closed. You see, we live. I live in Arab countries, and I I can speak any Arabic person. I ask him, what is the meaning of Khatam? You know what they say, seal. And Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, jahil of the jahil, ignorant, he said that now the Prophet will come from the stamp of Muhammad Arabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How a liar, how the, you see this I told you, he's the biggest mesmerizer and tantalizer of this century, the past century, I'm telling you. The way he fooled the people, I think so there's no other <laughs> better, you know, the jal or trickster born than Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. You see what is the meaning of khatam? It's a seal. And Allah used, why Allah used this word? Because to show you and us, when the document is sealed, and it means it is final, complete, and close. But what happens if you remove the seal? The document is no more authentic. This is what Allah says. If you try to break the seal, it means you are breaking the concept of Islam. Khatam is a seal. Any documents in the past, when there was no seal, this is not authentic, authentic document. Today, we do not use seals anymore. We use signature. Same thing. But those days, seal. If the document is sealed, it's finished. The Prophet ﷺ is the seal of the Prophets. All the Prophets came before him. And from him, the document is closed and sealed. Once it is sealed, there's no other chance of coming any prophet. This is what it means. You rascal, the way you said that against our Nabi. And the once the document is sealed, it is sealed. This is what this ayah meant. But deliberately, the way you deceived people, lana on you, woe to you, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, woe to you. So, the discussion of khatm e inshallah, will not be needed when we have our system of Islam. These people will go in a hole, like a burrows. You know, burrows, like a rabbit goes inside, they will stay there and die. This is all the privileges of the West, privileges of those kuffar who are nurturing them, cultivating them, and let them produce those children. This, this is all because of those privileges. Otherwise, they know that. And what power they have? Nothing. That guy, that cockroach, is the puppet of the West. He's the slave of the West. And this is not the job of Isa ibn Maryam. I'm going to end this now. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad was the host of cognitive dissonance. He made the statement... He take his people and then he reach them and throw them into the crossroads. And after crossroads, he said, okay, start doing oscillation. Going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So their circle back and forth now converted into their pocketbook. And from po pocketbook, that's all they know. Nothing else, nothing more. And this is all what they are postulating theory after theory after theory. They will never speak on the character of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Yes, they will speak on the perception of Ghulam Ahmad or thinking of Ghulam Ahmad will never speak out because they know once you open the Pandora box of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad the game is up